Good morning and welcome to Daybreak. I'm Debbie Wren, Vice President of our Oxford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Terry Stiles, Production Manager at OCTV. And where good, we're at. good morning. Good morning. It's good to be back good again. Good, it's good to see you too, Terry. You know, well, even though we did see one another uh, for a good solid three hours for our, uh, <laughs> our chamber strategic <laughs> meeting. We had uh, quite a meeting. Yeah. It, was, it was good um, to finally be able to get together for something yeah. like that. We've yeah. been doing our Zoom meetings. The, the chamber board gets together um, uh, on the second Monday of every month and we do our um, monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. And with this one here, it was our strategic meeting. So we had a lot, a lot to discuss. And I actually had to get dressed, get in my car, I know. and come into Oxford. <laughs> so I, the, I'm not crazy about the Zoom meetings because you don't have that face-to-face. -face. Right. And I know they're still going on, um, but I did like the fact that I could put a top on and still have my jammies on. <laughs> well, that, wake up and say hey, good morning, everybody. That is the one thing <laughs> I do nice. have to agree with you. That is the one thing with all the the I, I want to say at least a hundred Zoom meetings yeah. throughout this whole COVID yeah. Yeah. period. Um, you are able to dress a little more casually, yeah. <laughs> um, but you always want to make sure that what's ever in the background is always nice and neat and straightened and, and everything else. <laughs> So trying to find that, that nice area in the house that you want to be able to be right. uh, on that meeting is uh, a little challenging sometimes, especially for me. I've got, um, we, we have eight dogs, and oh, so yeah. I, I try to make it that we do those Zoom meetings uh, when I'm back in the office and they're up front with my <laughs> nice husband. <and> quiet. <laughs> so that, you know, not that they're barkers, but it just so happens that every now and then a f either a doorbell Most will ring. Will come, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you, you always oh, yeah. have to be quiet. I, I experienced uh, the other day for the first time, so you moms and dads out there, I get it. My son dropped off one of his children, the five-year-old. Oh boy. For us to sit with, you have to sit with them. They're on, he's on the um, virtual Oh, learning. yes. And you have to be right there with them. And it was so funny because I'm looking and there's all these little kids. They're still in their pajamas. I made my grandson get dressed and comb his oh. hair and stuff. And there's moms walking in the background drinking their coffee. And, <sighs> and these little kids, I feel so bad for the teacher number one and the moms number two. My grandson, within 10 minutes, he's drawing over here, and he, she's, you know, saying, what's an E look like? And he's drawing a turtle, and I'm like, oh, it's got to be hard to do oh. this all day. And they do it. He's kindergarten, and they do it from 8.30 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. And there are breaks. She gives them a five-minute rest your brain break, mm -hmm. and then they had a half hour break at lunch, but even still, that's hard for everybody. Everybody's got to do the Zoom thing. I know, and, I know. And how does she keep their undivided attention? Exactly. You know, she, she, was, she had them dancing and stuff, and there's my grandson, no, I don't want to dance. Well, you know, if he's not with the rest of the class and sure. seeing, they're participating, because the camera's only on her. So he's not really seeing the rest of the class unless she uh, turns it or somehow one of the kids, mm -hmm. like if the kid answers, then oh. the camera goes on the kid. Right. But, so they're not in a whole class room per se. So that's hard. That, that, I'm done yes. with the Zoom and the, I really want to do face to face. Well, I, that's why I'm so thankful. I'm thankful to be able to be here so that yeah. we can do yeah. this. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's just, it makes you feel so good to finally be able to be with people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you, you love your family, but I mean, mm -hmm. it, it is a very select group when yeah. it comes to being something like that. So mm -hmm. um, I, I was super thrilled that we were able to have our meeting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you, you made mention about the, the kindergarten and, and the kids and having their little breaks. There was um, a little thing that was shared on Facebook 
Now this is probably going to be something that many of you out there aren't going to remember, but Terry and I will remember back when <laughs> we were in kindergarten, we would have those, um, the nap time. nap time. You had your special little mat that you yeah. had in your kindergarten class, mm -hmm. and we all had to roll those mats out, yeah. and you had to nap. Yeah. Well, it was funny because I shared that post, and it was funny the comments that, that I got back because some were from some teachers uh, that said, those breaks were really just for the teacher. They needed oh, the kids to just settle down, lay down, Regroup. and let the teacher have the break because we I never imagine. slept. No. I never took no, a nap. I, I know. I can remember looking at the cracks on the ceiling or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking at the and we had to be quiet. That yeah. was like the longest, I don't even know how long they were, five, ten minutes? Not, probably not long. <laughs> no, I'm sure they weren't. I'm sure they weren't, but... Well, that was that was fun to discuss and to, and to bring up. So, um, so the sad part about the Zoom and yes. relating to our um, strategic meeting, there's so much that we still don't know what we can do right. as a community or for the community, mm -hmm. like the expo that we had to miss. Um, you know, yes, and and we even thought about trying to do a, a, a virtual with that, um, yeah, and it was that. something that. Yeah, it could probably be done, mm -hmm. but wow, that would be hours and hours yeah. of trying to, mm -hmm. you know, you get your vendors, um, and each one of their businesses would, would have, a, a, you know, maybe five, ten minutes to, to talk about their business, mm -hmm. but um, it, it's like, is it really worth oh all of that time yeah. and effort and are people really going to want to see it so we have so much screen time as it is yes that to, to then log on again to see what the vendors have to say and sit there for who knows how long right how do you know which vendor you're interested in mm -hmm. how is that going to come up how how are they are how are they going to market themselves? Right. I mean, if they're going to do a little video of their business, are they going to do it properly? There were just so many variables, and people are really, I think, getting tired of screen time. Yes. Um, I, I want to shop. I want to yeah. talk to I, the uh, merchant. That, uh, and I want I want I want to feel it. I want to yeah. see mm -hmm. it. I want to yeah. if it's something that's uh, a technical thing. I want to see how does it work. Yeah. Let mm -hmm. show me. Yeah. Let's have some interaction here. Um, and you can't do that. A place like Funky Monkey. You know, oh. how do you, I love to go in there and play with the toys and see mm -hmm. how it work, like you said. So how do you market something like that right. at a a business expo. It's mm -hmm. just, I mean, it's, I love those expos because you get to talk with people yes. and you get to interact and learn something new about maybe a business that you've seen around the community for a while. Mm -hmm. But once you start talking to those people, oh my goodness, I didn't know you had that or that or that. Something they might not think of bringing up right. if they're just going to do some virtual this is what my business is all and, about. And when you are on those virtuals, you are, um, you're given a, a certain amount of time, mm -hmm, and right. that's it. Right. And so I think as a vendor myself, I would be um, saying, okay, I've got, I, I have seven minutes, and that's all I have, and what am I going to talk about? Yeah. And so, you know, you become very limited, and then you forget about half yeah. the stuff that you wanted to say because you wanted to make sure that you filled up the seven minutes, you didn't go yeah. over the seven minutes. Yeah. But I, what we're going to do right now, though, talking about seven minutes, we're going to take a real quick break, but we'll be right back. So don't go away. We've got a lot of inf interesting information yeah. to share sure with is. you. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to Daybreak. I'm Debbie Wren, President of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Terry Stiles, Production Manager at OCTV. And I got to correct that. I'm the Vice President of the Oxford <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. I'm so used to say President. It sounds right, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we, we were talking about Zoom meetings and that. We were talking about events that um, are, have not been able to uh, be had yeah. this, this year because of yeah. COVID and everything. but. Uh, with Christmas really just around the corner, just want to make sure that everybody is aware that uh, the Chamber is still going to be sponsoring events down uh, in town uh, on December 5th 
which is a Saturday from mm -hmm. starting at noon till uh, at least three o'clock. Uh, we're going to have Slay the Day and Shop and Dine Local. So uh, Santa's going to be there. Uh, we could have a couple of other surprises that are going to be coming. But, you know, we got to have, we have yeah. to be able to celebrate Christmas. Right. With all of our construction that's taking place, you know, eventually this is going to all wind down and, and everything's going to be back to the way that Main Street is supposed to be. Yeah. And the hustle and the bustle is going to take place. But, you know, be, because of... Um, the construction and because of COVID and the amount of people that we can have and the amount of people that our Christmas parade brings into, right, right. into the village mm -hmm. every year mm -hmm. is just amazing. So we're not going to have it this year. No, no parade. Christmas parade. But um, there will be, like Deb said, some very cool surprises and, and events going on. We still want to celebrate our community. Right. And um, people will, you know, this COVID thing, um, you protect yourself. You do what you're comfortable doing. So people will be comfortable. Some people will be comfortable coming down to the park and celebrating with us, and others will not be. And I think that's how our life is going to be for a while. It's going to be that way for yeah. undoubtedly yeah. a long period yeah. of time. And that's OK. You, you have to respect. Mm -hmm. um, how other people feel about mm -hmm. this and, yeah. and how they want to protect themselves, their mm -hmm. families. You really don't know what's going mm -hmm. on in people's lives. So, right. um, you know, we don't have to have all of these nasty comments and, mm -hmm. and feelings about yeah. things like that. Yeah. You know, if that's, if that's the way people are, that's, mm -hmm. that's their choice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So um, we are just hoping to be able to see a, a lot of people. There's... Our village is a big village. There's yes, a lot of space mm -hmm. down there. Yep. There's a lot of things going mm -hmm. on. Um, we are going to have Toys for Tots, which is oh, always, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that's going to be just something that is always heartwarming for me. I always like to be able to have our mm -hmm. donations there. Um, and you know that you're making a, another family's life happen. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. And our police department, you know, chief has always been a big advocate of that. And, and so, you know, I'm sure it's going to be filling up um, the uh, cruiser again with as many, many toys as we possibly can. I'm sure he'll have it parked um, either by uh, the pavilion, by Centennial Park, or he'll have it over by Funky Monkey. Uh, because they're always a, a yeah. big support. And they did really well last year putting it in yeah. that area. Both Funky Monkey did as well as that that cruiser was full. I know. Yeah, that really was nice. Sweet. That was sweet. I, that's one thing I will say. I'll say a lot of good stuff about the chief, but he is so into helping kids at Christmas time. Yeah. It's amazing. I know that that um, shop with a cop mm -hmm. kind of got dropped when uh, the person that was working on it through Meyer, right? Yes. Um, she was transferred or something, mm -hmm. and boy, Chief really pursued that, and, and they're going to have cool stuff for the kids anyhow. And, and really, like you said, they have so much fun. With yeah. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we need to have it be that we have uh, a business here in our community that does yeah. have this happen mm -hmm. for them yeah. because boy all those all those police cars go down there and the oh it looks so neat it's really boring. very cool thank you to Myers they've really um, been good supporters of this community period mm -hmm. it's really nice to have them in the community and then helping those little kids like that it's really fun to watch <laughs> it is it is so a few other things that we're going to be having uh, down for um, that December fifth is going to be um, uh, free cocoa and cookies. We're also going to have fire rings to keep everybody warm while they're shopping, which those were fun. Mm -hmm. We had yeah. those last mm -hmm. year, too, so that was a chat. lot of fun. Yep. And then uh, the chamber is going to be having a tent that has these Santa bags. So the first 100 people that come to visit the chamber tent down by the pavilion there are going to be receiving uh, a Santa bag that's going to have goodies from a lot of our local businesses and chamber members and such. So you make sure that you come by and, and see our chamber table. Then we're going to have a Christmas tree. 
walking around town. <laughs> I won't say anything more about it, but you stay tuned. We're going to have a lot mm -hmm. of information. That'll about be that. fun. That's going yeah. to be a lot of fun. That <laughs> is going to be a lot of fun. So, you businesses out there, if you have things that you want to be filling mm -hmm. into those um, Santa bags, mm -hmm. please get in touch with our executive director, Amy Desatel, and, and let her know that you have items. And so this way here, we're able to fill up those bags as mm -hmm. big and big as Santa's bag. Is yeah, that'd be. be fun. Not to mention that is really good for the businesses downtown. Absolutely. That brings people into their businesses. Yep. Um, I know that the, the parade event does the same, so hopefully we can kind of balance that out this exactly. year. Exactly. We're yeah. doing the best that we can, yeah. and we just want to be able to certainly help our business mm -hmm. community and everybody, all of our neighbors around here and everything. Yeah. So really looking forward to that. And just be patient if they haven't finished um, the streetscape yet. Just be patient with trying to get around town and park. and. Yeah. We just have to continue to practice our patience just a little bit longer. Rumor has it they will be done wrapping it up sometime in December. We'll see. <laughs> yep, we'll see because I mean it's been it's been a big project. Yeah, it sure has. Know? It's going to sure be pretty. That, you know, we we've discussed it on and every one of our our programs here at mm -hmm. OCTV, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's something that is involving everybody. Mm -hmm. and sure does. Those even yeah. that are living north of us that have to come down M twenty four. You man. know, um, but quite honestly, it's mm -hmm. I, I've I've traveled it so many times. Um, I, I can't say that I'm used to it, but I'm all aware of it. It's not a it. surprise. <laughs> and, and, and it's not yeah. that this is the way it's going to be forever right, and right, ever. Right. So. I bet the people on Gillespie, I really feel bad for them. I bet they'll be glad when it's over with. Um, I know they have a hard time getting out of their driveway as it is. I used yes. to be a Gillespie resident, and so this has just got to be impossible mm -hmm. for them. And so our sympathy goes out to that end of the, that neighborhood, the village. Yeah, for it's, sure. Yeah, so um, also, uh, going back to our strategic meeting, yes. we are not having mixers, correct? Until we're going to look at that again yes. at the first of the year. At the first of the so year. That's a shame because we miss talking with the other businesses, and we get some good turnout at those mixers. Really, those mixers have always been very, very good. I, I think people mm -hmm. enjoy, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, being the able to atmosphere. gather, mm -hmm. and we've always tried to be at a, a, a different restaurant each time so that we're spreading this uh, wealth of clients coming mm -hmm. in. Some people may never have been to a certain place and this mm -hmm. gives them that opportunity. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yes, the mixers, just for, for health reasons, we're still holding off. We're not doing any Zoom meetings on those. That's, that's mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. that's really mm -hmm. Something that we want to be able to mm -hmm. be involved with. Mm -hmm. So, um, but look for us uh, hopefully being able to start this up again in 2021 as soon as possible. You know, that means no Christmas party this year. We always have, and boy, the Christmas party always brings a I know. lot it's of It's really fun. But, you know, it gives us something to look forward to to 2021. Let's put it that way. Right. So uh, with that being said, we're going to take one more quick break, but don't go away. We still have lots to share with you. Welcome back to Daybreak. I'm Debbie Wren, Vice President of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Terry Stiles, Production Manager at OCTV. Well, welcome, we, back. welcome <laughs> back, guys. We're, we're happy you're still here with us. Uh, Terry wants to talk a little bit about our neighbors feeding neighbors. Yeah, so uh, Connie Miller, who works here with us, and I know everybody in town has seen her around town, has been organizing the free meals program for what, on Wednesday nights at the Methodist Church downtown Oxford, the one on Burdick. Um, and in that, her, uh, CJ Carnacchio created this Neighbors Feeding Neighbors site mm -hmm. for uh, funding. At any rate, there is a link and I'm going to talk about that. Um, let's see, there's a collection box at the village and the township offices for food. So Connie has been able to uh, get donations for food. I know that um, 
it's not witches anymore. What is it? Patrick's Place. Mm -hmm. Used to be witches. They've been actually donating the dinners for the last three weeks. Wow. And the, the um, need is growing. Originally, on Wednesday nights last year, there was like 40-some people. Mm -hmm. It's up to 200 now. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, and Connie is getting donations, both financially as well as food donations. Mm -hmm. But she always needs more. The, I mean, they need eggs and milk and, and whatever people bring in. Right. Um, so I just want the community to be aware that this is going on. The free meals, this is, um, there's a drive supporting the community meals program through the Oxford Methodist Church. Groceries are distributed to the people that come on that Wednesday night. No fault of their own. COVID has increased these numbers. Yes. Um, there's, there's people that certainly don't want to be there. But if you want, if you want to drop off food, they'll take anything like canned food, non-perishables. You can drop it off here at the studio, OCTV studio. And we're on Seymour Lake Road at the um, Township Parks and Rec Department building. They'll take them there at Townships Parks and Rec, I think. Okay. But I would drop them off here first. Isn't Amy taking them at the chamber as well? I, I want to say that we are, but it might be, you know, being that our chamber office is right there with the village office, where, you know, I mean, as soon as you come into that back door, we're, you're going to see both of us. Right. But you will see an extremely large box that can hold a lot of uh, canned goods, like uh, Terry was saying, a lot of canned goods and non-perishable items. Um, I, I'd be concerned with, you know, like eggs. How could we do something like well, that? So Maybe a card what Connie's doing with yes a, a card a gift cards gift card and God bless her she says Gee, even just a dollar you know your pocket change helps sure and there have been some very generous people oh. she's gotten donations of in the hundred um, and and people have dropped just money off so mm -hmm. that helps that way they can she can purchase what is really necessary because Connie's got her finger on the pulse yes. to all of it of mm -hmm. what they need to do to help people but neighbors are helping neighbors it's amazing up till now um, they've had what they need they have run out of food but then she still has stuff in the back of her car it's amazing what Connie has oh done my goodness. with helping to feed this community Connie and CJ and um, all the volunteers that help Connie, and if I started naming names, I'd miss somebody. Of course. So I just want to give kudos to the group that is helping Connie um, get people fed in our community on Wednesday nights. And I know now it's it's branched out to the Orion community. Mm -hmm. There's people from Orion coming up here too. Oh so, my! Um, people are still in need because of COVID. Um, so if, if you can find it in your heart or just that loose change in your car, I know I always have some. You know, just I do drop too. drop it off here at the studio. Yeah. There's a little bucket right inside the door. We've had people come in that we didn't even know mm -hmm. came in here, and then all of a sudden there's bags of food right oh, there. Oh, how really nice. nice. You know, yes. it, it always seems that at the holiday time is, is oh, you know, our, our hearts just become overwhelmed with mm -hmm. wanting to be able to give yep. and to help. Yep. And, you know, that's really what the holidays are all about. Yep. But mm -hmm. to have um, families that are, have been um, struggling for all it's these COVID. weeks yep. and, and now going yep. into months mm -hmm. um, is extremely um, hard. It's, it's very yep. hard. So to open up our hearts and to be able to help um, just makes you feel good as well. So uh, let's, we're gonna make sure that um, the chamber is going to continue to be supporting and promoting and, and asking for your help just to be able to help someone. And it isn't that it has to be a large gift. Mm -hmm. Like Terry said, Every little bit is going to help because it all just adds It's amazing up. what she does with just like a $20 bill. It's amazing the food that she can come up with. Connie's That's, a food magician. That magician. is incredible. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, Good for yeah. her. And that the businesses are beginning to open up again. So our theater is going to be open at the end of this, at the end of October. Now that businesses are opening up, 
um, the money's flowing a little bit better. That helps yes. a lot too. But boy, there's people like waitresses that they were really suffering. For and, sure. And and still the way, the. Uh, Restaurants have that limitation of seating and stuff. So those are people that live in our community. They're still suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and to, to say that, you know, let's just hope that we can have larger crowds yeah. so that we are helping our, our fellow neighbors, our, our fellow workers. Mm -hmm. um, boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a rough year, 2020. It certainly has, <laughs> and uh, let's let's just hope that we never have to go through something as devastating as this. Mm -hmm. The whole country, mm -hmm. I mean, even those that, you know, they're suffering with COVID, but they're also, they've got the wildfires. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, all these things that are happening are just... Yes. Aren't we lucky that we live in this community? I know. Mm -hmm. I yeah. know, truly, truly. We've got a lot to be thankful for yes. and to be blessed about. So um, just talking uh, uh, about uh, things happening with in our downtown here, um, you know, uh, Evergreens. Oh, yeah, Evergreen's yeah, coffee Angie. shop. You know, Angie. <laughs> Angie's been through a lot too. She had to. <laughs> she she had to move from a um, her spot that she's had for quite a while, mm. and um, it. I, she couldn't have gotten a better location, yes, right. which wasn't where she was originally supposed to be moving mm -hmm, to, right, right. but because of um, building that has taken a, a long time to, to be finished and is still in uh, construction, uh, <laughs> she, she had to go to Plan B. Yeah. And Plan B has Boy, brought yeah. her right onto Main mm -hmm. Street. She's mm -hmm. right in the block where, um, you know, she, she's going to have a lot of foot traffic. Yeah. She's got nice parking in the back. And she's finally going to be uh, having her uh, opening this coming mm -hmm. weekend. Right. So, yeah, so that will be the end of October. The end of October. To the last week of October. Yeah, she's hoping to be able to open the twenty fourth location that used to be a bakery. Exactly. So that worked out perfect. Everybody kind of has that in the back of their head. If they want to go to the bakery, that's where they're. That's gonna where go. they're going to go. And at that time, when she had to move, when she figured out she had to move. That's when her bagel bombs were becoming very popular. Her bagel bombs. She, needs, she every, needed more room. Yeah, everybody talks about yeah. her bagel bombs, and man, they are yeah, they are outstanding. Good. Standing. Pretty good. They are <laughs> really, really good. So, just a, a little plug there for yeah. for Angie. Uh, Evergreens yeah. is finally going to be back yeah. and open, and we're going to be having their coffee. I'm her pretty coffee sure her really coffee good. is going to be coming at our, our Christmas event. So, uh, but want to make sure we support local and and Angie as she yeah. she's got a heart of gold, and yeah. she is going to just knock it right out of the park. Yeah. So and say hi to her and get a cup of coffee exactly so with that being said terry and i are going to wrap this up uh wishing everybody a safe and happy halloween uh make sure everybody votes yeah and stay tuned for more that's going to be taking place for our christmas events okay We've done it again we have take care and talk to you soon My name is Lynn, and I want to star in a movie. Why is that artichoke talking? I'm a pangolin, which basically means my tongue is longer than my body. And I'm pretty much for a bowling ball. Oh. But the pangolin piece de resistance? We're the only mammals with scales. Pretty neat, huh? Poachers think so, too. You see, people use us for traditional medicine. And leather boots. The situation is critical. Averaging about 100,000 goodbyes a year. I have to do something. I have to star in a movie. If I become famous, pangolins will become famous. People will notice us and finally care about us. So guys, help my species become known. In Hollywood, let me star in a movie. Please! Ha, 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 ha.